Okay, you guys, so it's been confirmed that Lil Tay is not dead. Now, before I continue with this video, I want to let y'all know if y'all hear any noise in the background, I'm in my car making this video. I live in Houston and it's 101 degrees outside, so I have to have this air blowing. But back to Lil Tay. So it's been confirmed that she is 100% still alive. Her brother Jason is 100% still alive. So she provided a statement to TMZ. She said, I want to make it clear that my brother and I are safe and alive, but I'm completely heartbroken and struggling to even find the right words to say. It's been a very traumatizing 24 hours. All day yesterday, I was bombarded with endless heartbreaking and tearful phone calls from loved ones, all while trying to sort out this mess. She went on to add my Instagram account was compromised by a third party and used to spread jarring misinformation and rumors regarding me to the point that even my name was wrong. My legal name is Tay Tien, not Claire Hope. Now Tay is claiming that she now has full access to her IG account and she thanked Meta for that. Now it's still a lot of questions as to why it took her so long to put a statement out there because she said she was very aware of all the rumors because she was getting phone calls. But it looks like she possibly was because remember in my last video I talked about these two accounts that popped up after her death. One was claiming to be her, one was claiming to be her brother, but both accounts were saying that they were not dead, they were still alive. So this possibly very well could have been her trying to reach out. So I'm just gonna give that at this point a benefit of the doubt that she was trying in some type of way. However, just to be clear, she has not said that it was actually her behind those accounts. But I'm trying to figure out what was the reason, what was the purpose, whoever it was behind the account because there was not any GoFundMe. They were not asking for money. It was simply saying that she passed away. So it's definitely given suspicious, okay? I'm really curious to see if Tay is gonna come out and actually talk about it and what is she gonna say? But this is how fans responded. One person said, first Carly faked her kidnapping. Now Lil Tay faked her death. Lil Tay faked her death for clout. The ultimate I got hacked excuse done by Lil Tay. That Lil Tay ish all for attention. Don't be fooled. This Lil Tay stuff is insane. I'm just baffled LMAO. And she's not the only one baffled because I'm baffled also. And I really want to know what really went on. Was this done for clout? Was this done for attention? Were her parents behind the account? What is really going on with this situation? I want to know how you guys feel about this. How do you feel about everything being out on the table that this is not true? Tay is well and alive, which is a really great thing. Her brother is well and alive. That's great also, but we need answers. But I want to know how you feel, so leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.